with me also. I want to ask you this. Your style of life co-coaching. Now, are you a, a YouTube life coach or do you do any personal life co-coaching? Because I've never asked you that. And then, because when someone watches your channel, like you'll have a title up um, that, that'll, and I'll, I'll just make something up. I have to talk to Jamie today. Here's why. If someone is going to be on YouTube and they see that title, it has nothing to do with life coaching there. So I want to get into, are you a YouTube life coach? And because of you get picked on, you showing people that this is how you handle it. And that's the life life coach. Because what I have here is this, Eli. Um, I just happened to be walking down the street and this was on the floor. This paper here. Okay. Now this says... Be encouraged on Zoom. Listen in to receive encouragement and strength. Services. Zoom.us meeting ID 853-284-3869 gives you a passcode. It says Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m., Sundays at 12 p.m. So they're doing this on, on Zoom. It says we also have support groups for men, women, and youth for every Saturday of each month. Men, 3.30 p.m., meeting ID on Zoom, 245-900-4725, and it gives you a passcode. The women, it, ha it, ha it has their meeting ID with their passcode, and for the youth, it has their it has their meeting ID and their passcode. If you have any questions, please reach out to us via email, newgeneration, um, newgenerationccf at gmail.com. But they are also online and these are life coaches trying to get people and these are the services that they offer. Have you ever put anything out like this to get people to go get life coaching advice from you? And if not, how come? I haven't gotten to that point yet because my channels are not at that level yet. And the reason why my channels are not at that level yet, this is my opinion. And... I don't care what the other side says or anyone says. My growth has been stunted primarily by Jamie. JB Gunner initially several years ago was doing this, uh, but everything that Jamie has done has taken complete money out of my pocket. Um, he he go wherever I go, he goes to try to leverage my audience. The reason why he's not here is because he's already leveraged this. There's nothing for him to take here. So there's no point for him being here. But if I was on a different channel like Dennis's, he would have things to leverage there. With Jamie, it boils down to money and what can he take, you know, audience wise. And if it's whoa, not whoa, there, Eli, it's Eli, not you, uh, Eli, you went off topic here. I'm talking about the, all right, this is a, this is someone that is a life coach. They have services for men, women, and youth. They do it on Zoom. They give the meeting ID and the passcode so you can join mm -hmm. in to be part of the group for their life coaching services. I understand. The question is, I know what you're now you said that you haven't got to this point, but my question is, if you're going to be doing life coaching, you should set things these up so that it's not getting to a certain point before you start giving the people the advice. You should already be having these things set up so people can come in to get the life coaching. I, I'm, I'm not talking about JB Gunner and leveraging mm -hmm. i'm talking about the life coaching itself so i'm asking are you going to be doing things like this and are you going to have more life coach coaches on your panel so that you life coaches can discuss and help everybody else out there together for better collaborations and networking yes robert that's the plan the reason why and i was trying to answer your question i understood the question I, i'm saying that with what's happening right now, based on what a few people, especially what Jamie has done to create all this ruckus around my channels, I don't want to bring any of these high, high profile, high quality people out here. I don't want to advertise to bring more quality people that are going to come here and get confused regarding what's going on. So what I've been doing instead is slowly building a genuine audience slowly but surely and i've been tackling this head on to the point of where uh people are beginning to see what's really going on and they're not supporting it anymore or at least not as much so the the point is this yes i do want to market myself more with with flyers like that and you know other ways of advertising but right now 
what would I be advertising? Them to come see what Jamie's doing, following me everywhere, sending this hate audience, putting out those hateful videos, doing all that. I, I'm not going to bring those people into this environment. So I'm basically like, like you heard me say, I'm taking out the trash. I'm cleaning up shop. I'm basically coming. Yeah, out but what about your members and, only content though? Why wouldn't you put your members only content to you telling people, Hey, um, this is the group. It's a, it's a members only group for you guys to come and get your counseling in and to get the help. So for your members only content, it would be you doing your life coaching and those people. So if someone wants to try to watch you life coach, they're going to watch you life coach, not watch you go off on someone for talking about you. Do you get what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. I completely get what you're saying. And that's all I've wanted to do, Robert. But with all these con continuous distractions, and all this harassment and all this stalking everywhere I go, wherever I go, Jamie goes and he tells all of his people behind the scenes in Discord, go here and troll Eli, go here and, you know, say this, say that, flood the chat and create ruckus. So we upset the host and that way the host, you know, gets rid of them. That's all they've done constantly. That is harassment. It, it is pure harassment. Now, the thing is, most people that, that would do something like that would do it once or twice, and they would have so many other things going on in life that they wouldn't keep doing it for six continuous years like Jamie has. But for Jamie, this is, this is what he does all day, every day. So this is what's made it more difficult for me to do those things that you... I cannot hear. All right. I got you. You're all good. Now, now I can Eli, hear. you were good. What happened. Yeah, you were all the way good. Thank now, Eli, next, when are we going to get, when are we, when are we going to get, when are we going to get some life coaches up there on your panel? When are you going to reach out to another life, life coach saying, Hey, check out my content. Check out what I do. Um, I want to be able to collab with you. When are you going to get another life coach on panel with you? Not until we clear this whole thing up with Jamie and these people and they stop the harassment because it's not worth it for them to come on when all they're going to do is get all this BS. I, I'm not I'm not going to put these people in that position. I don't think you're understanding so I, that. Well, no, no, I understand now. I understand that until these people that like to talk to you and go and do these things, you will not have any life coaches up. So. There's going to be a lot of people out there, Eli, saying, well, if you're not going to put life coaches up or anything, then what are you, what's your channel about? That's, that's the very first thing that's going to come out of their, their mouth. Yeah, but Robert, I don't have to put life coaches on. I could do it all myself. I don't have to bring anyone that I don't want to bring on. I could do it all myself. The bottom line is, is that I'm not going to bring on higher caliber people to a shit show group. I'm not saying my content is shit, but the group of people, not the people that follow and support my channel, our supporters, our members, Don's supporters and mine on our channels, they're great. We're talking about the trolls, the haters, the Jamies, those people that continuously reuse our content and stuff like that. Okay. That's the problem right there. So I'm not going to bring higher caliber people on my channel until we either hey grow further and grow past them which we're getting there um or they just go away and stop doing what they're doing because i'm i'm not going to this has happened many times in the past and i'm not going to ruin any more relationships over you know what they're doing what he's doing and other people are doing so right eventually it's gonna it's eventually it's gonna get there it's a work in progress you move the needle forward just a little bit each and every day so right you know that is that